Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the weekly contest 253. Find the longest valid obstacle course at each position. So, you know, the biggest obstacle for this problem is, uh -huh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Um, and yeah, if you like solving contest problems and you're here right after the contest, come to the Discord so you have people who will chat about the problem right after the contest. Um, so for this one, to be honest, I took about, what was it, five minutes to solve this. A lot of it is that I wasn't sure that I was reading this problem correctly because because for Q4 and, and very recently, especially even the contest right before this, the bi-weekly, we had very difficult contest problems. So I was, so to be frank, my some of my meta problem with this problem was that I thought this was too easy and that that's why I took a long time because I was like, well, it, maybe some, there's something I didn't understand about this problem because it's too easy. And just to be clear, when I say that this is too easy, it's actually not easy at all. But but it is a problem that a lot of people have seen people before, probably even on Leak Code. Um, so therefore, if you have seen this problem before, you should be able to get this very quickly, um, or, or at least like Google it very quickly or something like that. Um, and this is why I was very confused. But basically, what it wanted was a longest increasing sequence at each index, ending at each index. And... And to be honest, there is, um, I, I think I have videos here, so I'm not even going to, I don't think I'm going to make this video that long. Um, but what I'm going to say is Google longest mm, monotonically increasing subsequence. Uh, if you Google this, you, um, there's going to be two ways of solving it. One is going to be O of N squared dynamic programming. And then the other is kind of O of N log N also DP kind of. But it's a little bit weird. I think I even have a video on this. So if you look for other problems where maybe it's just... If you do Google, you may also find this just under longest in increasing subsequence problem. Um, yeah. And so... I'm not going to, I don't, to be honest, if I'm going to disappoint you, I'm sorry, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to go over this problem that deeply because this is actually a way, I actually implement this um, off my mind and you can watch me solve it live during the contest next, but I don't think I'm going to go over this solution because because this is literally just, if you Google this, this is a canonical problem about it. I actually have videos about this problem. I think I solved this like two, three times and I have explained this two, three times. But the idea is that so I am going to explain it a little bit, but not that much. But the idea about this, um, and I, I got this a little bit confused in my commentary here, was that I used O here, but then for here, I, I spent time debugging because I wrote zero, because I don't know, in my mind I used O, maybe I should have wrote obstacle or something like that instead. But yeah. But basically, I use a longest increasing subarray where LIS of I contains the the um, the the last element of the longest increasing subsequence in this case monotonically of length i so what that means is that our s of 0 means means um the longest increasing subsequence of length is zero. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I may be off by one here, but essentially that should be right. This is of i plus one actually. Though you could have done it another way, but but that's basically what I have. Um, yeah, because I think I set this up incorrectly. I think if I did this as negative one, then this will uh, be of length i, but I actually set this up as infinity, so I actually have been off by one. But in any case, so this is of length one and so forth. So the thing to notice is that you can implement this in a for loop because then now you just go to the 
next number. So so for each number, you go, okay, for example, we have this, this list of obstacles. Um, then initially we go, okay, LIS is equal to, um, let's say, 3, right? Because we insert the first number. So then here, that means that um, the longest increasing subsequence of length 1 is 3, and then now we, we parse the 1, right? And when we parse the 1, we go, okay, is there a longest increasing subsequence of length 1? And the answer is yes with 1, right? Um, and you go for it backwards. Well, there, is there a longest increasing subsequence uh, of length 2? Well, no, because if we if, if there's one of length 2, then 1 will have to, we have to go after... Um, because basically, the longest increasing length 2 is equal to the length, the longest sub... Sorry, I'm like, my mouth is very... My phone is very sore right now, so I'm struggling to talk. But basically, the longest... Uh, okay, I'm going to reduce this to LIS. It's equal to the LIS of length 1 plus the element 1, right? And if 1 is, bi is bigger than is, is uh, equal or greater than the last element of LIS of length 1, right? So that's basically the idea, and in this case, that is not the answer. So, um, so then we go over. Okay, is there an an LIS of length one? And in this case, there is, um, and there are two two of them, right? There's one of length, th or there's one where the last element is length three, and then there's one with the last element of length one. So, in a greedy kind of way, we update that to one because because when we add numbers in the future. If it's bigger than one, then that that means that if, if a number is bigger than three, it is bigger than one. But in a greedy way, if the number is say two, it is going to be bigger than one, but not three. So then we can. So in that case, we update to one. And when we see the five, we update it to five because uh, because there is a length LIS of length two because it is just one, and then after five, and then there we we terminate because. Um, because we know that every element to the left of that is going to be s smaller than it, because we know that you know, um, yeah, and we 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 don't we're not going to update it because it's smaller than it because it doesn't make sense because um, in a greedy way you always take the smaller number. So then here we do the same for sex. We do the four. Um, four is smaller than sex, so there's no length of length. You know, we there's no length of length four. Is the length of length three? Well, if we try to replace the, we we try to add it to the uh, four five. Uh, there we can four is smaller than five, so we do not do that. Okay, is there one of length two? Well, you can construct a subsequence of one and then four, so then we update this to four. Okay, and then lastly we do the same thing, but we update this to two. Um, so that's basically the idea, and if you keep track of what the index is, then you will be able to calculate the answer because that's the number, uh, you know, that's the longest valid obstacle course, which is the LIS. And then now, as you're doing that, you notice that for this array, we always, it's always going to be monotonically increasing, meaning that is in a way that you could do a binary search on. So once you realize that, and again, I know that I'm skipping ahead a little bit. My phone is hurting, so I can't talk that much. I apologize if I'm uh, pausing a lot. But but once you realize that, you can actually just do a binary search to 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 find out the index, and then you insert that. Uh, you you either append it or you update the insert point, as we said below, um, because you know you're just trying to find the longest longest uh, increasing subsequence that you can can update it to. Um, and and that there you go, you update the answer. That's basically the idea. I know that I'm, I'm kind of not explaining this that well, possibly because I'm just having some struggle talking right now. But again, this is actually literally textbook problem of 
the LIS. So I, if you, you know, I urge that you just Google up LIS uh, or longest increasing subsequence, and then read up on the n log n algorithm. And in this case, you know, th this is an O of n loop, and for each loop we do O of n log. Oh, sorry, for each loop we do log n time. So in total, it's going to be O of n log n time. Um, and also O of n space, because in the worst case, this could be used O of n space. Um, you can also be output sensitive uh, uh, complexity, where k is the final answer. Well, in that case, we are going to be O of n log k time, because each bisection is on uh, an array of at most length k, and of course it's going to be used O of k space because this array is going to be at, oh no I lie on this one O of n plus n space um, because this is actually going to be O of n, but this is going to be O of k. So eh, you can also say that this is technically speaking strictly better than this O of n because this because the constant is hiding it, but you know, that's up to you to play around and figure out. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Again, I apologize if, you know, this isn't as clear of an expression, explanation as I would like, but I also think that because this is a textbook problem, there's going to be a lot of good videos out there. There's going to be a lot of good Googling out there, so hopefully you find something you love, um, but that's basically it, um, and that's probably why everyone did it so quickly, to be frank, uh, but yeah. And I did it in about five minutes, so yeah. Okay. Anyway, you could watch me solve it live during the contest next. Hopefully the running commentary is a little bit different. Let me know how that goes. Bye-bye. Oh, two people got accepted already. What is? I don't. I didn't even read this poem. Okay, so you have these obstacles. Longest obstacle. Obstacle is taller than the over the same height.
Maybe my maybe I don't understand this poem though. Like why is that too? Hmm. Oh man, how did I mess that up? Okay, still wrong, but at least it's slightly better. That's a really silly contest. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and the explanation and so forth in the comments or in my Discord. Uh, if you do contests, you know, come hang out in the in the Discord and just, you know, talk nerd to me. <laughs> anyway, hope y'all have a great weekend and stay good, stay healthy. The good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.